So, YouTube fans, I screwed up. I made a video for you guys uh, about a bowl. Um, in fact, it was th this bowl right here, which I'm letting dry a little bit so that I can sand it. I, I, um, I tried sanding a little bit, but it didn't work. Um, but I made a bowl about this video uh, and thought I posted it. Um, I, got, I finished editing it, but I'm going to add this uh, to the front of it. Maybe turn it into a two-part video, but this bowl is what I made in a beautiful little bowl. It's going to be a very decorative, nice little decorative piece. I think it's. Hey, Gads, let me grab a. Get you back here. Grab my tape measure. So this bowl is. Uh, Eleven. Really. 11 by 9. I'm surprised. I didn't realize there was going to be that much of a difference. I thought there would be a little bit, but um, that's almost 2 inches in difference in between here and here. So, Anyways, so I made this video, and I was really going, hoping, wanting to um, get that up for you. Uh, in fact, I uh, even made another bowl, a couple more bowls actually, and they got to dry before I can sand them. So. They're ready to go, they're ready to be sanded. Oh, check out this bulge on that one. I don't know if you can see that very well, but see how just the knot right there has bulged up. That's cool. That is just cool how that bulged out like that. I'm going to sand it, try and leave it as it is, but they don't crack. Um, and that's the pith you're looking at. Um, no glue. Oh, well, maybe a little super glue. Some th super thin super glue was put in there, um, but again, this is another probably. Yep, 11, 11 inch bowl. Um, same same log. Just took the whole log and turned it. But I think they turned out pretty good. I'm gonna chuck them back up and sand them. And <sighs> that was stupid. So, anyways. When those finish drying, we'll cut this part out. Um, when those finish drying, we'll uh, when those finish drying, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sand them up. But I've got an order today, so I can't get back to those for a little while. Actually, I've had a couple orders. Um, finals are actually done, so I can actually work on orders. Uh, I've got a couple orders um, for, well, I've got 15 pens to make. So, making those pens, and then I've got to make some of those um, old-fashioned um, pepper grinders, and maybe I'll make a short video on that. They're fairly simple to make, um, but they're beautiful little pieces. So, um, yeah. Maybe I'll make a video of that. I've got some, uh, I'm going to use this nice mahogany on it. Uh, it's got some beautiful little grain on it. And of course the grain's running this way. So I'll cut this in half-ish, right about there. Make two pepper grinders out of that. Um, but yeah, so I've got, got to make two pepper grinders, no, three pepper grinders. Uh, 15 pens, and that's what we'll be doing. So I don't know if you want to watch me make pens, so I'll probably not make a, a video about pens or maybe I'll come in and make something but I don't know um, you've seen me make pens before um, if there was anything new I'd make you some more pens but thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if this is the first time here hopefully you go ahead and look at some of my other videos um, I've got a really neat video about Christmas lights or I mean a, a sea urchin with a that lights up in it um, real short video on that. Well, fairly long video. I think it's 20 minutes. But it's a cool little ur urchin or, or sea urchin ornament. Um, I also make them longer. That one was just kind of a short one that I made. Um, I got a video on how I make these uh, candlestick holders. Um, so those are kind of fun um, little projects. 
so I've got a few things going on, but I've got to make a couple more of these, actually. Wife told my a friend about them, so now i got to make some. So, good deal. I like that. Anyways, thanks for uh, subscribing to my channel. Go ahead and check out the video now. Welcome back to my shop, YouTube fans. Um, great tubers out there. I've been making a few of these bowls lately. Uh, they're made out of a whole log. Um, you can see the pith uh, right, right about here in the wood. Um, so this is the top part and the bottom part was about this far back over here. And they're made out of green wood. Um, I really thought by doing this they would crack and I thought they would crack really bad but as you can see the pith did crack a little bit but not very much and so um, turns out really well I saw a YouTube video on this and so I thought well I'd give it a shot and uh, was really impressed turning them down to less than an eighth of an inch um, and they've turned out really well so far I mean less than a quarter of an inch, my bad, sorry about that. They're, so they're definitely under a quarter, close to an eighth of an inch in, in thickness. Uh, so they dry out fairly well. You can see I've got the back on this one still. I haven't sanded this one. Uh, this has just been turned. You can see, really see the marks here. I did put glue, super glue, around the edge to uh, just uh, secure the rim. And what I'm going to do today so I just wanted to show you how I approach the cut into the wood. So I'm going to bring you up close here. Get you in place. What I have here is a half inch bowl gouge um, with an Irish grind sharpening on it. Uh, swept, swept back wings and all. I just want to, let's, maybe I'll move you over here just a smidge. I really want you to see how I approach this cut. So. I want you to be able to see the tool get into the cut itself. So I think you should be able to see that. So I'm going to be coming in. Uh, I've got the handle. Um, I've got the flute of the gouge open or facing the wood, and I'll come in right here and I'll start making that cut. And that's how I keep this bark from coming off, even if it's tempted to come off it seems to help um, so I'll kind of show you a few passes a few cuts um, and then uh, finish the bowl up off camera um, I just want to do a really quick video don't have a whole lot of time I'm supposed to be working on finals and stuff like that this week and I just needed a break so I thought I would come in here kind of show you a little bit maybe five ten minutes of me cutting into this so here we go and I'll be turning at about 800 RPMs. Eight hundred and fifty RPMs there. That's the max RPMs I'd want to go with a winged bowl like this or any bowl larger than 10 inches. So here's the cut. I'm approaching, as I said, towards it. As I'm close and I feel it just nicking it, I then turn away from it and enter the cut and slowly open the flute. Okay, I'm do that again. Okay, so just really quickly, as I'm coming in, you can see I'm, I'm taking it down to almost my finished cut here. And I start here, really a closed, open up slightly, and I rotate into my cut. Okay, so that's how I'm running that cut. I will work my way down in inch increments. Um, coming back, scraping them nice, getting all the tool marks out the best I can inside. Work another inch, another inch, another inch. And using my trusty wire here, um, 
just checking the thickness so it's about that opening's about a half an inch and I've got about an eighth of an inch gap so that tells me I still got to take um, probably another eighth to a three sixteenths off of that so that's how I'm doing it just a quick video hey youtubers I'm back again um, it's been about well, five ten minutes not very long but I just wanted to kind of show you the progress and how it's working so I'm gonna get you kind of up close and personal with this bowl here I can get you in position can't do any turning with you there but I can at least show you so we're going down the wall here um, it's like we're gonna get some glare from that it's like better move you back over here off to the side too much glare from the window anyways kind of show you what we're what we're accomplishing um, we got that down to our trusty almost half inch we haven't measured it yet um, wire and we've got close to a close to a quarter inch down about let's say two inches down the bowl there um, and we're using that same cut just coming in here coming in and turning wasn't able to get a good full body swing with the camera where it was so I had to pull you out couldn't give you a good picture of it but pulling in and then swinging my whole body out so that I continually ride the bevel um, and it's coming out pretty good as you can see I've been able to keep the bark so far um, and this cut really works well when I get down to here and that's why I stopped it to kind of show you that and then show you a little bit of what I got going on on the outside edge so here this is where I'm gonna thin it's gonna be a, a real thin layer or a real thin wall made up of all the bark um, and you can see that starting right here where it's just kind of starting there and then that's a thin layer made up of the bark but also what I wanted to show you is how much moisture is in um, that wall as you can see by the splatter hopefully the camera picks this up but by the splatter right here um, that's the moisture coming off of it a little bit of sawdust but mostly moisture so just wanted to give you a quick update give you uh, show you what's going on there um, again thanks for checking out my video and please subscribe hey I'm gonna probably turn this on a couple more times as I'm coming into this inside wall that I'm cutting here um, I'm actually coming in I'm hitting this part of my bevel let's see if I can get that to focus there this part of of my tool as I reapproach what I do is I come here and just gently start nicking it against that um, as it's spinning it starts to nick it then I slowly turn it I don't open it up yet to cut as I just kind of run it down so I can feel if there's any imperfections using that the back side of that bevel and as I find a, a spot where there's either a divot or even a bump in this case it was a bump um, as I find that where that bump is I then open it up and slide down it getting a, a more exact cut and so I'm going to kind of show you that right now um, so here's a here I am approaching and I start feeling it and right here I can feel a bump and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back check it again so it's right here and I'm going to open it up slightly just so it starts to cut and then I approach And what that does, that allows me to get in there, and I find the perfect, so I find that little ridge there, or that bump, I ride on it for a second, go back and forth, find it, make sure I know where it is, open up my bevel, and just lightly start to cut. And that's it. And so I'm going to show you a few passes, um, I'm going to run a shear scrape, uh, well not so much a shear scrape, just going to 
take a little more material out the center quick and then I'll show you that process again. better do some scraping right through here real quick before I get too far into it that I can't. That wing becomes very flimsy and so I gotta do my scraping in short little sections as well as any uh, finished cuts that I want to take along those wings. So once I've touched this up right through here, right about here on the bowl, I'll never come back out past that. I can't come out past that. And if I do, I ruin the bowl. Excuse my reach here. Get a round nose scraper that I just sharpened up. Here we go. Put it in the camera. Just a simple round nose scraper with pretty sharp edge on, or pretty sharp bevel on it. Um, but again, I run my scrapers. Where I'm running them not completely flat, but I raise it up on the edge just slightly and get more of a sheer scrape. do any more shear scraping I'm gonna put a new burr or put in the freshen up the burr on this scraper so I've got to come in there's a little bit of a bump there a little bit of tool marking there I want to get out while I'm out there I'll flip on the lights so you can see a little bit better sand it and the last little bitties up and you saw more of the video than I thought I was going to film so <laughs> you got to see about all the turning so please join me again for another wood turning episode here at the Western Slope Wood Turner 
And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Michael Pencaddy. Please subscribe to my page. I uh, really appreciate all the, uh, the subscribers I have and those that have watched my videos. So thank you so much. Just express my appreciation. And now I better get back to some homework or I'm going to get in trouble. Got finals this week. Take care.